Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 video where I'd like to mention you what I like doing during the double XP when we have a lot of XP incoming, what I like doing, what are my favorite events, and so on and so forth. So, in this video, I'll cover my top number one favorite public event that I always go to no matter what. Uh, the second thing is I'll mention is the workshops. What workshops do I prefer to capture and why? Uh, then I'll talk. I'll show you the locations that I love to visit, and afterwards I'll tell you why I love my carry everything build, and how much XP can you get while doing crafting during the double XP. So let's not waste any time and jump right into it. Now this is the number one, numero uno sure public event I would recommend you doing. Well. Uh, it's called Radiational Rumble. It's been available since the DLC of uh, since we got the Wastelanders DLC. Uh, when you're starting out with this event, uh, do not forget to put the glowing perk cards on, uh, so you, because it's gonna spawn in a whole bunch of uh, glowing ghouls, and those guys give ridiculous amount of XP. Uh, good amount of resources and uh, glowing meat that's the one I really want so you start the event now I would even recommend doing this event if you're solo and nobody's here to play with you because in your top priority is to kill as fast as you can and try to make these guys survive for as long as you can and trust me you will get one to uh, half maybe sometimes even two levels guaranteed uh, if there are more players playing, it's better because it spawns in way more ghouls and if you're quick enough and you shoot quick enough, then you should be fine. So check this out. You see, there, there's the ghouls. They're coming, you shoot them, and look at the amount of XP you're getting. It's insane. 300 per ghoulish. So always make sure to repair those uh, turrets. I always do so. But once again, if you're solo, you ain't, I don't think you're gonna win this. I mean, I didn't win this not a single time, uh, but I did manage to survive until like one minute uh, before the event actually ended. But man, I'm gonna try to survive this time fully. <laughs> so, my current level is 239, almost 240. Holy smokes, this is the literally the first time I managed to survive all the way till the end and all of them are alive. That was crazy. <laughs> and I think I know why, because previously for some reason the other guys they were uh... They didn't have any guns, but I did fail the event, okay, but Look at all this juicy loot, and the XP that I got is insane, and I'm gonna die. <laughs> Hold up. There we go. Look, 240, like, I got one full level just by doing this, and this is insane. And the amount of loot, and by the way, this time I wasn't lucky. I just got one star, I mean, one legendary. Usually there's like uh, three to five legendaries. When we were in a team, we once had... Like almost eight or something, if not more. It was I even live streamed that moment. It was crazy. It was a, a freaking lot of legendaries. It's like, if it's not when it's a wave, there's like two, three legendaries. It's crazy. But yeah. So even though if you're playing solo or whenever you see this event popping, just go there. Go get ready to shoot. Make sure you're uh you have repaired weapons and everything. This is a number one uh event, public event on my list. Neither I'm playing with a team or solo, whichever comes here, because as I said, the amount of loot you get here, uh, the amount of glowing meat, the amount of XP is crazy. And the amount of legendaries as well, but this time I wasn't lucky. Oh, maybe I was. It's second legendary, two legendary, huh? But as you can see, I was one shotting these things and I was like strictly focused on keeping those guys alive and actually managed to stay all the way till the end. And that allowed me to kill as maximum goals as possible. So, hoorah! <laughs> Good luck! Alright, so that was my favorite uh, public event. 
obviously nobody cancels other public events if you see them jump to them do them actually I, I would recommend doing everything you see like literally and do it fast just don't stop just go 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 oh fear is killing my behemoth <laughs> All right, so if you see uh, the meditation one, go one violent night, definitely go. Uh, the uh, oh man, what was this one? Radiation? No, wait, radiation rumble. That's my favorite one. Number one, number uno. This one, man, radiational fever, definitely go. I mean, you get a lot of glowing meat as well, a lot of steel and other stuff. So, uh, the the queen killer. <laughs> so. Basically, uh, try to do all the public events because also you get the treasure notes. Now, in terms of uh, the workshops, what well, I like doing is capturing all the workshops to from starting from a top and all the way to the right. So I, I take them all in, and there is a big reason for it. Number one, one of them uh, is so I can get a lot of water. <laughs> a lot of purified water because that will get us to our number four why I like carry everything built and how much cra uh, how much XP you can get while crafting which you'll be surprised when I show you but basically I capture all those workshops uh, and I do like I jump once the events start only in the case if there's like super mutants or uh, yogi bears uh, oh, sorry yogi bears lol yogwai bears because <laughs> if you go there they will scale to your level and you get a ridiculous amount of XP scorch beasts fly although I haven't seen those in a while now but definitely super mutants I definitely go there uh, what else uh, wolves I go there because they're glowing to me basically if it's like liberators I skip I let them to retake my uh, workshop and I come back and uh, retake it back from them in one wave so crickets definitely jump in on the sa on the first wave because it gives acid uh, what else did I encounter and anglers definitely I'm going because it's glowing and adhesive and other loot uh, so basically it's another really good source of farming XP farming resources plus you have everything under your fingertips so you can build yourself a mini base like my mini base my mini fort always has a bed to sleep with the scrap box obviously where I drop everything because I'm, I'm my my stash is totally loaded and I think I once I'm gonna get to the crafting part of this video I'm gonna be entirely loaded with stuff and I won't be able to play <laughs> So, uh, also in every workshop I have a, s a scavenger collection station that also scavengers some more junk and I keep refilling my junk all the time because every single workshop has the water, the water supply, uh, the junk resources, so pretty much things that I need. And uh, I jump through them, pick up everything, kill everything, get the XP, and obviously also is uh, a free fast travel for me through all these points over here. So, I love to capture this one as well, and to this one I still didn't get. Maximum I've caught so far was this one, but it's already really hard to keep up with all these ones because, as you can see, some of them are already un under attack, and this one is under attack by who? I think by rats. Yeah, you see, these ones I missed out, I, I, I allowed them to retake my uh, uh, workshop, so now... I'll need to retake it back from them. But sometimes if I have nothing to do, I'll definitely go there and of course I will kill them because if they scale to my level, they're going to be level 25-ish if I'm not mistaken, but they will still have the glowing meat which I really need in order to skyrocket my level during the crafting session. Alright, so I think the workshops are pretty straight to the point. Uh, that's why I do it and uh, you can do it too on private server of course with the public server it's going to be a little bit different as other players would like to take it from uh, will most likely try to take it from you but I'm s uh, there's also you can do this without the uh, workshop but obviously with workshops it's way more easier anyway let's go to my next list which is uh, locations that I make sure and try to visit uh, definitely like 100% those so, location number uno. Alright, so here are the location. This is my starting point. And I won't be jumping to every single one of these locations because 
100% sure you and uh, most of you already know about these locations. If you're new uh, to 76, uh, I don't need to show it to you because if you go there by yourself, uh, just by navigating the map, you'll see everything's going to be straightforward. But this is my starting location where I have my tent uh, for two reasons. The first reason is this guy right here, Behemoth. Oh, by the way, I forgot to eat uh, my cranberry. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Spoil, sort. Okay, there we go. Relish. 10%. Right. Slept. Good. And boom. He wakes up. And I get my 2000, 2000 plus XP, right? Then I loot him fully. Even though now I won't be able to run most probably. Oh, I can still run. Sweet. So I loot him fully. And then I navigate to uh, this location right here. Uh. And there is a reason why. Well, first of all, there is a uh, workshop where I can uh, scrap all the stuff that I got, right? Oh man, I gotta get do the water thing. So how much water I got? Seven hundred fifty-one. <laughs> Damn, I've been grinding a lot. So uh, the other thing is, make sure if you want to get f like free mods for different sort of weapons and armors. The Blood Eagles and uh, the Cultists are, are your places to visit. I'm going to do a separate video on that. And the reason is that they always have different variety of weapons plus armor. And if you scrap this, you unlock mods for it. Like before these locations were available, the way I used to grind my mods is by uh, crafting the armor and weapons for what I wanted to unlock, right? Now this thing is easier because these guys uh, all have different weapons and stuff including handmaids cultists like love handmaids so uh, on PC when I used to play I used to unlock my handmaids by making them and then s uh, scrapping them now I just run around the cultist area and pick up the handmaids and blood eagles also sometimes have handmaids and just come here and unlock mods <clears throat> so I'm not sure if I'm gonna unlock anything right now because I have already unlocked a whole bunch of mods. Like you see, there you go. And light is stock for that weapon right there. But as I said, I've been unlocking mods like crazy while I was doing these locations. So that that's a, actually a side note, okay? So this location, this location right here, uh that so these are locations uh this sign over here is so, so like, I don't know, sort of an angel or whatever. Uh, that's the Blood Eagles. And then we got the skull. This one right here. Uh, the Mothman skull. Uh, that's the Mothman cultist. Uh, I also jump, try to jump to uh, in order to, if I'm looking to get some guns to uh, scrap and get mods and also get components for it. Make sure to have your scrapper perk card in the intelligence section to get more steel and more other stuff whenever you scrap things, right? So that is important. Alright, so once I've done this step, uh, my next location where I go to is Huntsville, Huntersville. Everybody knows this location by now. Well, first of all, you have a chance of getting a couple of legendaries over here. Second of all, it's always Super Mutants. So Super Mutants and top level, they always give the goody XP, goody loot, and goody goody goodies. So then I would jump over here, Ripper Alley, once again for the reasons of uh, uh, weapons, etc. West Egg, that's another location. Uh, General's Steakhouse, 100% go there. Uh, then I would navigate up and I would go to Harper's Ferry, do a really quick run. I'll jump to this location, Toxic Larry, meet and go to kill the uh, Stanley Gasters and get my acid. Uh, sometimes I actually even clear out this area real fast because first of all they're blood eagles and scorched and there's definitely uh, scrap workbenches over there so I definitely make sure to do that one I definitely jump over here why is this workshop not captured I captured the men what are these glitches all about man something is so weird so basically uh, two yog wibers uh, that's my acid then I go there and kill uh, whatever is there but usually for the yog wibers I go there that's why uh, then I, uh, I don't go here. I would jump to high, uh, Highland Marsh to kill the uh, Mylurks on Marley Queen and get the food as well over there. And then mainly I'm always disrupted with being an, uh, with my workshops being under attack so I go and aid them. 
The other thing is that I actually like doing uh, besides that is completing all of the dailies. So Lucky Mucker that I still need to do, Dark Toss where I still need to do, right? So and others, right? So these ones, if you do these ones, first of all you got you get caps, you get XP, and you get script. So there you go. If I go right there over there, I'm gonna get a decent amount of script, decent amount of caps, and decent amount of XP. So once again, while double XP, do everything as fast as possible. Like super fast. And this is another thing that I love because lead ore is lead ore. You can't hit, you can't mess with that. So if you see breach and clear, that's one of my additional favorite uh, events that I go to. So that is definitely a must. So once again, ah, uh, manhunt. Don't underestimate this event. Although it's like a low level area, uh, you get 120 caps when you complete it. Plus, there's super mutants. Well, low level, but uh, during double XP, if you get all the perk cards and everything, uh, you get over 100 XP. Plus, you pick up their guns. And uh, there's a lot of uh, workshops over there that you can scrap and get a lot of materials and that includes steel and wood and other stuff. So definitely don't underestimate that event right there. Even though it's in a low area and it pops on regular basis, 120 caps for a quick event, sounds like a good deal to me. And uh, obviously there's a whole bunch of the events that appear in this region. I always try to do them because it is in high level zone and I get the high levels uh, appearing there so I get to tango with them and get a lot of XP oh my god I wanted to do this faster but turns out I've been talking for almost seven minutes now it's time to get to my crafting resources part that's my favorite part <laughs> all right time to talk about crafting but first the perk cards that you will definitely need I've been saving also a lot of materials for crafting I always save materials for crafting uh, and waiting until double XP comes so I can start doing a lot of crafts and get uh, last time I did I got like four levels just by crafting <laughs> I'm not sure I'm gonna do be able to do that within this video but I'm gonna speed run that you'll see the XP going like crazy uh, but butcher's bounty to pick up as much meat as possible so that is definitely on my list uh, well obviously traveling pharmacy because I have a lot of camps on me and I'm be gonna be uh, diluting a lot of stuff that's why I need the purify water to dilute a lot of stuff well obviously the inspirational for XP right uh, hiker uh, through hiker uh, food and drinks weight reduced by 90% is a must for me and uh, the super duper so the uh, and good with salt this is an, a must because you want your glowing meat not to die because from the glowing meat as far as I know you get the most XP so uh, some of my meat is about actually uh, about a spoil really soon so I that's why I had to uh, start recording now because I noticed my glowing meat starts to spoil <laughs> so I have 228 of those and usually what I do is, is then I sell everything to the vendor but glowing meat on its own it'll take me a couple of days to sell to the vendor to get all those 1,400 uh, caps uh, per day, right? Alright, so always make sure that you got uh, the super duper turned on. Now instead of scrapper make sure you always have chemist turned on for the crafting stuff because you get double the quantity when do, uh, doing your crafting your camps is a uh, very important uh, super duper to double the results obviously and I think that is it just the only thing that I want to double check is that I have the double XP of course it's on uh, then cranberry 10% uh, XP inspirational XP XP good good I don't have the leader uh, bubblehead <laughs> to get more but whatever let's start with the crafting and I think from this moment I will speed run everything so right now I am at the start of level 241 so let's see how many levels I'll get once I'm gonna be crafting all this stuff oh by the way if I'm gonna be crafting ammo then I must not forget to have the ammo smith as well I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be crafting ammo as well Although I don't know which one. I just moved to shotguns by the way. The shotgun is, is legendary. I looted it when I was making yesterday's video in terms of notifying you about the double XP and some tips and tricks etc. <laughs> but anyway, let, let me stop talking here. Start crafting and speed running this thing and you take a look at that uh, XP meter. It's gonna go crazy. 
trance. <laughs> Alright, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> I guess I'm way too high level now. Previously I would get minimum of three levels. This time I got one level. Just one. Just numero uno. One level. Holy smokes. That is crazy. But, look at all the good stuff that I got. And I'm carrying a lot of stuff. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. I actually saved up some water. I, I could have kept crafting, but man, I was already crafting for 30 minutes. 30 minutes I was clicking this A button. Oh my god. That is insane. Me not like crafting no more. <laughs> but I'm all set with the goodies. All right, some water, leftovers, and I still have a lot. It's just Be not sure even funny. Uh, this well, guy doesn't have can. any. Okay, well I still got caps, so I'm gonna go buy plants that I don't know and sell, buy, sell, sell, buy, basically. But here, let's go from here. Uh, but wait, so nine nine twenty seven, three hundred forty eight. Glowing I meat steak. That's service. in cap value three thousand four hundred eight. <laughs> uh, most of it is gonna spoil, <laughs> but I still get to uh, fertilize it later and get all the stuff. So basically, it's not a big problem. Although I'm a little bit disappointed to be honest. I was hoping to get minimum of three levels, but I guess I'm way way too high level. The glooper, that's another 1,000 right there. Actually, you know what? If I'm gonna go buy plants and get a 
partial of my caps back, these things are gonna go really fast. I still have 120 stim packs left. Jesus. I spent all of my water. It's not even freaking funny. Look at all this stuff. 1,194 diluted stim packs. 4,700 caps. Thank God these, these things don't uh, spoil. <laughs> <laughs> Some more glowing. Oh my god. What else do I have here? Jesus, look at all this. This is crazy. Diluted rat axe. Now Bam. Rat away. I didn't manage to use up all my rat away. Look at that. 2,000 here. Beer. If I dilute them, that's 1,000 right here. Gee, I need more purified water. Oof. Whatever the case is. I've noticed that the food has started to give me the smallest amount of XP. That's why I was kind of in a shock situation when I stopped crafting. Usually, as when crafting only food, I would get like a level and a half. Uh, obviously, the eight items, healing, stim packs, and all gave me uh, the most XP out of everything. Plus, it's the most well, the best for me in, in order to uh, get caps since the things don't spoil. But now my plan is to go to White Springs, go visit the vendors, buy stuff that I don't have because I still have a lot of things to buy and get some part of my atoms up uh, of my caps back by selling the meat. And so in that case I kinda like kinda like, you know, grind like this. But man, I still love crafting. I love having having a lot of stuff on me. That won't change. Definitely I'll keep doing it. And I'll although I'm gonna go take it easy on on the meat. <laughs> on the meat, I'm gonna take it a little bit easier. So I might as well gonna get rid of this perk card. But if you're a low level, that's the crafting food uh, camps and other stuff was the top like thing that helped me to boost my level uh, really fast. So if you remember when I moved from PC to Xbox, I grinded a hundred levels in five days. <laughs> <laughs> All thanks to Easy Clan who provided me with ammo, good weapons, good gear, some crafting materials, and I just started crafting. Still, crafting is my favorite part of the game, and I'll keep crafting, and I love crafting, and although I'm disappointed that I got only one level. <laughs> Damn! Alright Z Clan and everybody else, this is where I'm gonna be calling it the end for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, you know the drill, don't forget to hit that like, comment down below, please make sure not to use profanity when commenting, otherwise uh, YouTube will trigger those comments, the comment will become invisible to any other user, only I see them, I read them, and I delete them, have that in mind. So if you want replies to your comments, make sure they don't contain new F-bombs whatsoever. And uh, if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. Our clan has grown to 4,737 Z Clan members. Feel free to join our Discord. We have a very active Discord. Uh, I've changed the bot for the auto roll assignments, so now everything is working. So once you join, read the rules. Go to the Get Started chat section. Click the Z sign that you accepted the rules and you want to get access to the general chats. So that's where you can talk pretty much about anything. Uh, select the platform that you play on so it will be easier to uh, team up with other guys who, who play the game on the same platform as you are. Uh, select the games that you're playing because we're playing a couple of games, not just 76, but Elder Scrolls Online, Warzone, uh, and Division 2. Personal myself, I paused that game because uh, just zero time. I barely even have time now to play uh, Elder Scrolls Online. And man, that's just crazy. But anyway, I hope you're gonna love it if you subscribe and join Z Clan. It's good. Goodio. Oh man, I'm tired. This video took a while to make. But still, it was fun. <laughs> I hope you found some of this information useful. And you know, during the double XP event, don't waste your time, just go shoot things. Shoot, shoot, move, shoot, move, move, shoot, and do as many events as possible. Kill super mutants, kill big creatures, and you will level up crazy. And by the way, if you haven't unlocked uh, the nuclear winter limited challenges, which last until the 11th of June 2020, uh, please do go ahead and 
take the opportunity of the double XP to uh, grind your levels. Add the nuclear winter. It works. It works for the rank and it works for the uh, the challenge itself. So and you will get the ghillie suit, the real cool suit that you've seen my NPC walking around in. It looks like a bush. Where is my chica? Hey, lady, where are you? Oh, there she is. Lady, come show us the outfit. Ah, cockroach woman. There you go. But she plays good music, though. <laughs> <laughs> Izzy Clan and everybody else, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye! From the ashes we rose, into the future we'll go. We are Z Clan, we have a gamer soul. By the might of the sword, we put the pen to the test. We are Z Clan, we are Z Gamers best. Into the depths of the heart <laughs>